Good evening. The kickoff classic hosted 10 of the bigger schools throughout the Grand Strand. The first big scrimmage of the football season, the first opportunity to see some of the big guys get prepared for week zero just a week from the kicking off. All right, Conway, North Myrtle Beach, game three of the night. The Tigers set the tone early. Isaac McLeod from his linebacker position. Oh, yeah, gets the sack there of Furness. And that's a big loss to keep this one scoreless. Later, the Chiefs in great position. Furness scrambles right and lays down a perfect strike to Colby Gore, the wideout with the monster game. A touchdown, two picks. He and his teammates, they come out on top. They defeat Conway 7-0. A great way to end preseason camp for Gore. Not so much for Chuck Jordan and his Conway Tigers. It felt great just to open the season like that, you know, come out confident. We came out confident and we maintained it throughout, throughout the 20 minutes. Well, I felt like defensively that we didn't hit anybody and offensively we didn't block anybody. And, you know, when you do that, you ain't got much of a chance in football. Now, I want to give a lot of credit to North Myrtle Beach. I thought they outplayed us. Waccamaw, Sakasti, the first game of the night. The Braves on the doorstep. The big fella gets the call. Angelo Salter from two yards out and fourth and goal gives Sakati an early 7 nothing lead. Head coach Doug Ealing, please, so far. He'll like this as well. Buck Bacot with another touchdown for the Brave Nation. He plows through there. They missed the extra point, but no matter. They win this one 13-0 over the Warriors.